Alrighty, so I'm Tactical Potato and this is of course more Warframe. Now, yesterday in my Rhino video, I left something out, something very crucial with the changes for Rhino. Sometimes I guess I take things for granted and I do make mistakes. I am only human. I am only a gamer like you guys, just a gamer who likes to make videos. Now, as I explained in yesterday's video, Iron Skin now absorbs incoming damage for its first five seconds, very much like Frost's Snow Globe. So a great way to maximize your iron skin is to have roar active at the time and to cast iron skin and then very quickly deal self damage to your frame. You will see the absorb amount on the top right hand side of your screen as you deal that self damage. It's a concept that has been used by different frames for a while now, whether it's a trinity with frost with his own globe or even Chroma to maximize his buff as quickly as possible. Explosive weapons like the Penta, the Kulstar, the Angstrom, the Talons, and basically any weapon that could initially kill your Warframe are what you're looking to use. And in yesterday's comment section, a lot of you guys mentioned different weapons to achieve this buff, but the guys I play with every day on my TeamSpeak have been using throwing knives with concealed explosives simply because of the amount of rounds that you can fire at your feet. Some explosive weapons are kind of limited with the amount that you can fire off, so you're not gonna get the most out of the damage, whereas concealed explosives on throwing stars or throwing knives will give you a better effect. Now, bringing a Penta as your main weapon might just end up with you eventually knocking numbers off your own iron skin later on if enemies get too close to you, so I would prefer, personally, to bring a secondary weapon. This technique, like I said, also works really well on Chroma and buffs his armor straight away and kind of gets him to that godly status very quickly. But I guess the one downside to using this technique is that you're always going to be tied to bringing a certain weapon so as that you can maximize that buff. So say for instance your Kulstar is your weapon of choice then you're always going to have to bring the Kulstar to get the most out of Iron Skin or switch to another explosive type weapon. You might not be able to bring your favorite secondary say if it's like me with the Vehicle Merlock I wouldn't be able to bring it. Let me know what you guys think of Rhino once you've tried this out or if you've already tried this out and have been running it for the last few days and how much more of a tank that this technique makes him and how easy it allows him to cheese his way through any star chart mission. Of course, this is going to drop off as you come into enemies that are level 100 or higher, but how often are you going to do that? There is a very good chance that I am live streaming right now over on Twitch. If I'm not live when you go over, then chances are the stream has ended and you will still be able to watch it back if you prefer. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Warframe. I will see you in the next one. And as always, thanks very much for watching.